What's good people, it's your boy Chillin' with TJ. If you don't know me, I'm a YouTube vlogger, I do a lot of fitness stuff, and today I'm gonna be showing you a chest and tricep workout using the pull-up mate. So stay tuned for the rest of the video, and hopefully you enjoy the workouts, so stay tuned. Right now, what we're gonna do, as is like meant to be the, one of the hottest days in Birmingham today, it's really sunny. So what we are doing is taking the pull-up mate, and we're gonna set it up in the park, and do a nice outside workout. It's one of my favorite things to do, when it's hot like this is to enjoy the weather because obviously I do like going to the actual gym but when it's hot like this you gotta make use of it and having like a machine I can carry around with me is really beneficial so stay tuned right people right now we're gonna set up now I decided to do it in the tennis court just because it's a nice even surface and I hate people's acting up <laughs> so it made sense so what I'm gonna do now is quickly show you how to put it together in a quick little motion uh, it's fairly easy to set up um, normally it takes me under five minutes like, I think last time it took me like three minutes didn't it <laughs> Right people, uh, so what I've done is set it up in the dip kind of station and uh, normally I'd add these in if I was doing some sort of pull-up variation. But today is going to be chest and triceps. So first off what we're going to do is warm up with some dips. Um, I'm going to try and go for three sets of eight to ten. Uh, feel free to do more or less but that's what I'm going to go for for today's session. For most exercises it's going to be eight to ten reps. Okay, this is what you do. Go down. You don't have to go crazy far down, as long as your arms virtually hit parallel, that's as far as you need to go. And also a quick tip is, if you want to lean forward, that's what you call chest dips, and it kind of activates more muscles in your chest. If you lean kind of backwards, then you're working mainly your triceps, so you can do three of each if you wanted to, or just do mix it up. So if you lean forward, activate your chest. If you lean backwards when you do dips, you feel it way more in your triceps. But as I said, it's up to you. You can do chest dips or tricep dips. Ultimately, a great compound move and it's body weight. All right, people, next up, we're gonna do some variations of push-ups. So what we're gonna do is rotate this forward. All right, people, what we're gonna do is some decline push-up. Uh, we're also gonna do incline as well. I'm gonna show you the incline first. Got the machine set up like this. Uh, the good thing about this machine is that those of you that have wrist pains when you put your hands flat, you can use the bar, which is more of a neutral grip. So for those of you who have like old man wrists like me, it hopefully will help you. I prefer to go fairly low so it's not too too high. And then all you gotta do is go down. The same with the dips, you haven't gotta go crazy ridiculously low. As long as your arms hit parallel, you're doing okay. And this predominantly works the lower portion of your chest. So if you wanna get them lower pectacles, give this a try. Same thing again, we're going to go for 8 to 12 reps. Okay, that was 12. Felt pretty easy, so I'm going to go for 20. 20! As well as the decline and incline, there's one variation I forgot to mention, which obviously is your flat push up. And you can also do it with this machine and still be relatively good on your wrists because you use this section here. So, same thing again. Really, when it comes to the rep range, you can choose whatever you want. The main thing is, if you do three sets of whatever rep range you choose, make sure you can hit. So if you say three sets of 10, make sure all three sets you can hit 10. But the very last set, it should be a struggle. It shouldn't be easy, because that way you know they're actually promoting more muscle growth and actually pushing yourself a lot more. For example, when I did the uh, 10 just, it was really easy, so I did 20 instead. So it's up to you. And if you find it really easy, feel free to mix it up and try and make it a little bit harder. Like I'll do clapping push-ups. One, two. There you go. When it comes to doing some of these exercises though, I only do it if you're confident, like the clapping push-ups. If you're not comfortable with pull-ups, push-ups, sorry, don't go do that. Be sure to do it when you're ready. Right, last up for the pull-up variations. What we are going to do is the decline. Take care of your machine, don't just throw it down. <laughs> Okay, so this part, all we're going to do is we're going to put our feet on here, just so your feet are raised up. Helps activate the upper portion of your chest. And overall, the best thing is when it comes to working your chest, is hitting from multiple different angles, rather than just one position all the time, to stimulate more muscle growth. Right, one of the last things we're going to show you right now for the chest and triceps, well, this place for the triceps, we're going to do like a manual skull crusher. In the gym, you normally get like a barbell or an easy curl bar, and you do that. 
What we're going to do is simulate the same thing while using the pull-up mate. So it's literally the exact same thing as you would a skull crusher in the gym. You just got to think that you're in the opposite way of the bar. Down. Bear in mind, this skull crusher is a lot harder than the one you do in the gym, purely because this is almost like a skull crusher mixed in with a plank, so you feel a lot more like your core getting activated in the workout. Basically, it is literally like a plank and a skull crusher combined, so it's very hard to do, so when you're setting the rep range for yourself, be sure you be generous just for the beginning part. After you get used to doing the exercise, then you can improve it. But for example, I can probably do 8 to 10 as my max doing this, so take note of that all right people hopefully you've enjoyed this footage quick little workout you can do outside very strenuous as you can see i'm taxed and if you try it out be sure to let me know but anyways thanks for watching